Shall we begin? Let's begin. Hey, welcome. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about hard shell protective cases for my Profoto B1s. So these are great lights. Um, they have built-in batteries or detachable batteries, um, but they're sensitive pieces of electronics. And so uh, up until now, what I've been doing for uh, or using for protecting them while traveling is Pelican 1510. This is a great case. Um, it's popular because it is the largest size you can uh, put in the overhead compartment on an airplane. So uh, popular in that regard, the problem is that the padding inside doesn't actually protect the lights very much. They'll fit inside, but they don't protect from shock. I had this fall out of the back of a rental car when I was in Hawaii, and actually the impact of it hitting the ground broke uh, one of the flash tubes in the lights, which was a very expensive uh, problem. So I decided I'm actually going to put, start putting my camera gear in this one. So um, I have another use for this one anyway. And I upgraded to this. This is a SKB. It's 22 by 17 by 8. Uh, this has the plug and pull foam inside. So I'll be able to com uh, create compartments that are the exact right shape and size for each component. Uh, of my light kit here that needs to go inside. One thing I'm going to test real fast is to see if it's deep enough to do it vertically, if I should do this way, or if I can do it that way. So I'll check that real quick. All right, so I'm going to take these layers out. Bottom there. So it looks like I do have room, if I want to, to put everything in vertically. Alright, so I'm going to start here with one of these. Now, I don't want to push this all the way up against the side because then there's going to be no cushion. That kind of defeats the purpose here. So, I'm going to bring it in by just a couple cubes. So, there's my edge. So, I've got, maybe I'll leave two rows of cubes right there. And I'll just kind of start on the edge here and work my way around it until I get a good fit. As you can see here, I just fit it in. It's snug. I might have to take out another row, but I would way rather take it out later uh, than take out too many when I'm starting. So for now, I think it's a pretty good snug fit. Sometimes you've really got to mess with it. As you can see, for this light, I wanted, you know, it's not a perfect rectangle all the way down. Uh, it is, it's a round light, so at the bottom of it, it doesn't have to be as, as thick. So anyway, you gotta really just think about the shape of the thing that you're putting in there uh, and, then, and then start digging. Let me tell you one thing. It's worth it to be careful doing this because you will be so irritated if you mess it up and then you permanently have a messed up case if you had just been a little bit more careful. Everything is still going good here, but I'm, I'm trying to really think about everything I'm doing before I do it. All right, so as you can see, these lights are pretty deep. So we had to cut through, there's three adjustable layers, or there's three separate layers of foam here. Now for the next items, the batteries, these probably won't need to go as deep. 
because I have uh, decked real estate here for these small items, but I don't have tons on top here, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna put them in this way because that's their smallest footprint. So I'm gonna start digging these out. Perfect. If you have predictable enough uh, pieces, like this one I had to kind of destroy it as I pulled it out. This was pretty easy. I can just take this and use that as my template for pulling out my next set of foam here. And there's my final setup. Hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching.